have a special program which is called Synergia, and these are also bigger projects we can, who can involve three to four research groups, and where also it's possible to finance one research group outside of Switzerland. And these projects are also bigger, that's not like the normal five to six hundred thousand dollars per year project, but they can go up to 1.5 million Swiss francs for a period of 36 months. Now I have mentioned the research programs before. Then we have two funding lines, and the first one, the national research program, they're more really like more no, somehow a top-down definition of the topics as these are defined by the Federal Council. The next one, which was introduced the National Centers of Competence in Research, they were introduced in 2001. And I think that also very interesting in the international comparison because also there we live our bottom-up approach. So we make a call for the quite big projects and the researchers, they can submit their, their themes. And in the end, there is also a bit of political decision which of these NCCRs are going to be financed. Uh, NCCR gets from the Swiss National Science Foundation about 4 million Swiss francs a year. At the moment, there are 28 running. The first 12, 14, which were awarded in 2001, they're running out now next year, so the number will come a little bit down. I've mentioned before the individual funding for young scientists, and we start very early with them, already at the PhD time, with the summer school refinance, being in for the social science, we can award scholarships to finish the PhD. And also we have uh, these fellowships for advanced researchers where you need two to three years research experience after your PhD. And then of course the ethnic professorships and ambizione. And all these instruments are open to non-Swiss citizens. For the fellowships, you need some ties to Switzerland. And we say when you have been working for two years in Switzerland, then the ties are strong enough to be considered as Swiss. And uh, the scholarship for Ambizione and the professorships, then you don't have to be employed in Switzerland. It's also for foreigners coming to Switzerland. The two politics behind this is one side is to invite the Swiss researchers abroad to come back to Switzerland, but also to invite foreign researchers to come to Switzerland and to continue their career. Now about international cooperation. We think that food science is always international, and this shows also the figures in our project that three quarters of our funded project, they have somehow an international cooperation. And it's also the reality at Swiss universities that almost half of the people paid in SNF projects are, are, are not Swiss. With our scholarships, we send 500 people abroad, and of course, we hope that they are, they are come back. And it's also the, more on the science policy level that we are in, uh, involved in international discussions on a European level in. in uh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Um, we are always all also involved in European programs of the European Science Foundation, but also in this Euronet, which is an instrument of the European Commission. Also in international cooperation, for us it's very important to have a bottom-up approach of the research. That's also why we don't run bilateral programs with any country. For us it's more important also to improve the framework's conditions for researchers. So what we do is often, it's always requested that the researchers are mobile, that they go abroad, that they have made new experiences, but then they are often the bureaucratic hurdles are big that it's not really helping them in, in their career. So if Swiss researchers are going abroad and they have a running SNF project, they can take the money with them to the new university and continue the project there. And with some instruments as with Synergia and also with our international programs, we finance also uh, researchers abroad. <coughs> what is 
channel that we try is to keep bureaucracy, the bureaucracy low for, for, for the researchers. And for this, we offer specific instruments also to help them in international cooperation to set up new cooperation. And for this, we participate very actively in the international dialogue, especially now in the Europe, also in science Europe, to, to keep or to lower this bureaucratic burden for the scientists now in, in Europe, but also this discussion to start on a global level. Um, now I would like to present some instruments which could be very important and interesting for you. Uh, we always discuss a little bit before this international short visits, which are possible in all countries of the world. They are between one week and three months. And it's also it's possible for all researchers employed at the six universities. Another thing is the International Exploratory Workshop, that I think that's can be very interesting to start up new projects, to start up new cooperation. And I would like to, to underline what Seta Bodarin said in the beginning, or in this talk, that it's very important that the countries, developing countries are not only a playground for things developed in Europe or in the States, but it's really it's a cooperation. And I think these instruments can be very important and helpful to set up this kind of cooperation, defining common goals and common approaches, and to set up this uh, new project. Um, the Swiss National Science Foundation, in the last 15 years, put a lot of importance of cooperation with developing countries. We had to 12 years uh, together with SDC a program called the Research Partnership with Developing Countries. In the current phase, we financed 27 projects, and four of these are with Colombia. So the Colombian scientists, scientists were very successful together with their Swiss colleagues. And it's also a pleasure for me to see these four projects here at the symposium, either today or tomorrow. Um, with the organization of SDC, the research politics, we put to, together a new program together with SDC, which is much bigger and will last until 2020. So it's really a long, a long term program. Then we will have five thematic calls. Two have been closed now at the beginning of October, and also three thematic open calls, which are also again open for all. For all um, scientific disciplines. What is also interesting and what we continue that it's not only the scientific the scientific, scientific policy which is an evaluation criteria but also the, the development relevance and also the, the, the practical outcome of these projects in the countries. And also the question was or is one of 14 NCCR which were launched in 2001. 
So all these 14 NPPRs will come to an end in 2012 or 2013. So there is no, it's, it's, it's an open situation for this NPCR north-south. And it was, it was clear from the beginning that these NPCRs will last for 12 years and then it will, it will, be, it will be finished. Um, this money, which was available for the NPCR north-south, is now partly in this new, pro in this new uh, program R4, R4D. Thank you very much for this uh, presentation. I just wanted to make a comment as a researcher who's been involved with research in many different parts of the world, working in many different countries. The one take home message, I think for some of the Colombian visitors here today, is that Swiss National Science Foundation are the experts in reducing how much administration we as researchers have to do for our grants. Now, you, you fund research between Switzerland and different countries, but I think you as the Swiss National Science Foundation could have a very effective and important role by going to see each other funding agencies in other countries. How do you reduce the administration? Because no other country in the world has a funding agency like the Swiss National Science Foundation that reduce the amount of time that we spend on our administration so we can actually spend it on research. So I think you should be actively doing that. Thank you very much for the applause. <laughs> <laughs> you are aware, I admit it, my colleague, here, you are forgetting the 400,000 uh, francs in your institution. You have to write uh, 15 pages, uh, you have to wait uh, I would like to ask a question. Uh, how do you uh, visualize the role of the Colombian researchers in the diaspora or, and the Colombian colleagues in Colombia in the framework of the new courts? Because in the previous court, uh, the open program for uh, the international cooperation in the Colombian countries, there was a possibility to prepare a specific court in Colombia um, what we have is, well, I don't know if it's the right expression, but if you can call it some kind of, we never used it as, uh, to talk about tandem project, that we have two country groups, one country group are the poorest country, based on the OECD uh, data list, and then the second group are the more developed country, yes. countries. And Colombia, as I mean, it's fortunately for Colombia, yes, is part yes. of, the, of the second group. So, but it's still possible to participate in this in this call. Ah. But yeah, but you need a, to be associated with the yeah, poor one. Ah, yeah, you need a country from the first from the first group. No, it's a new opportunity. But it's also it's also difficult. Yeah, I'm also very happy to, to listen that Colombia is not anymore a poor country, it's an emerging market. This is a very good positive thing. I, I, I grew up with this poor stigma and I don't like it, so we are making progress. There is another question? And then we can go for lunch. Thank you. Um, I'm wondering how is the working the mobility of uh, Swiss recession to go to Colombia. Is there a very sad interest, uh, special interest of uh, uh, Swiss recession to develop uh, projects in Colombia? Well, I don't know, I'm not sure if I got the exact right your question. Uh, there are Swiss Colombian projects. Swiss, Swiss researchers, yeah. Swiss uh, uh, 
professionals, scientists, uh, to go to Colombia, going to Colombia to develop uh, projects for participating uh, with uh, project, uh, projects of, you know, of investigation in Colombia. This change of uh, students and scientists, not only coming from Colombia, but going to Colombia. Yeah, there is there any special interest of no, how many statistics uh, numbers of uh, people, researchers, Swiss researchers going to Colombia. Colombia? Yeah, we have the scholarship with about 500 uh, scientists going abroad. And there's a very, very low number going to Colombia. Most of them mm -hmm. for reduced research based in Europe or the, or, the, or the US stuff. I don't have the figure. Uh, present in how many of our funded normal SNF projects have a cooperation with, with, with Colombia? This I'm, I'm sorry, I can't say. Uh, I think this question will be answered after lunch because then we have the presentation of the lead 